to his quietness, it's so great. <laughs> and then comes the next, and again, and again, and again, all the same. The pain, the body aches, the problems with other people, the sadness, oh, again in disillusionment, again, again, and again, and again. So, <laughs> it's nice, yeah, just to be in this space, but when you go out or when you have to be in this world and to show your job and to say, here I am, what do you need? You know what I mean? You have to go out and then you get it again and again and again. And there is no protection, I feel, as a, only when you come in the space, but then if you go out, I haven't grown but up that to is protect the point. myself. <laughs> I get the pain again, especially with people whom you open intensely your heart and then, oh God, again it happens. Relationships or with with their children, huh? again, this painful. Uh, uh, yeah. and you give and you give and you give, and just to take it, just to say, okay, I, it doesn't touch me. He can behave or she can behave like she wants. I am. Um, no, it reaches me. And it did at least the last two weeks very much on the last days and then the body reacted with the spine. Something happened, as always in my body, something happens then, which hurts me more. <laughs> but sometimes it's good to have body pain instead of this psychological, of this psychological pain, which is much more painful. And I can't get rid of that. And I try that with everything in <laughs> so many years. So sometimes when I felt my mother dying two, four weeks ago, so she was 89 I was with her. I really said, oh, you have good. It's good not to be also. But I have a good time. And I myself would have liked also to leave but the body because I have it. And then, of course, I mean, I tell you now, but uh, I see the, no, cannot do that. But sometimes, oh, the desire not to be in that sense, in that Western sense, oh, it would be such a gift. Yeah. But if you take your pillows over there and say, leave, 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 that doesn't happen. If you go to dynamic, it, it's getting out a little bit for a day or two, <laughs> it comes back and back again. So there's a kind of frustration with all this pain, a lot of frustration. But I don't want to complain on the other side of that. No, don't start here complaining, but I do not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But it feels good that I could express it. <laughs> That's what I call human incarnation. <laughs> <laughs> On that level, welcome to the club. Uh -huh. Let's talk, for example, about the body. Even the body of great masters, they are not floating <laughs> on warm air their whole life in utter bliss. I want that. <laughs> they don't. I have confirmed reports from the ones I was close to, and in my heart I'm still close to. No, the bodies. For example, talking about just the bodies, they take their anesthesia from the dentist, no problem. They have a lot of pains. Some of them die from cancer. That, as human beings, being in a body On that level, there is no escape. The escape is, the solution is, apart from tightening and loosening the screws, you can do body work, you can do all kinds of healing, you can do therapy on the psychological part, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's what I said, to learn to reconnect and Agnes puts it to the heart 
and that's there. That's for everybody there, and I hear it from you when you talk. And that gets hurt, but this is a different heart. It's not the one that gets hurt, the emotions that get hurt because somebody did something. That is the being, purity, and the one that is always there, even when all this samsara stuff happens, and there is no escape. I have to say that again. It is an illusion to run after, and many seekers <coughs> I see fall in this trap, and then they frustrate themselves. I want to get enlightened, but I still feel my body and my mind is still thinking, and that has to change, and look at these enlightened masters, or whatever, satsang givers, I don't know what goes on, and that would be the end of it, and they are happy. On that level, not. Even Ramana, who was, in a way, one of the most saintly masters that existed in this age, he said, of course my mind keeps working and making thoughts. I just stopped running after them. So even that gna-gna-gna from the computer here, it's human. But the challenge for us is, that's why the other old man that we didn't have the picture here, that created, for example, the dynamic you mentioned, created this, this to jump out. To give a bit of a break to the body and maybe also the mind, like sitting here or being active in a conscious way, to then be able for that split second or when we stop after the who mm. for to get a taste and remember wow. it's here, it's in me, it's so still and beautiful while on the surface up and down <laughs> Pain may come when some relationship or somebody said something, as you mentioned. You can feel as a feeling. No problem. It comes and goes. If you start thinking about reinforcing the thoughts about it, and start creating a story, that is where you suffer. Yeah, suffering, well, suffering, suffering, pain suffering. comes from reinforcing the thoughts. Mm. Mm. And that one has to make a clarity with oneself very strong that says I'm not going to suffer anymore. Because this strength is needed to stop the mind, to stop the mind all the habit, to reinforce a feeling. Mind creates the pain. <clears throat> Somebody told me this and that, oh, that's painful. And then the thoughts reinforce. Now I feel the pain, it is very heavy, it is hurting, tears come. And then mind continues saying, because this and that words hurted me, 
this happening hurted me and starts giving energy to that. So that is the old habit of the mind. Mind lives from these beliefs, from these stories, from these dreams it creates. So, my experience through life tells me the only way to keep the heart free, empty, is when one realizes pain is coming, even if mind says it's because of this, it's because of that, it's because this person told me this and that, and mind is totally believing in it, it's still at this moment, one is capable, if one wants to, to stop, to cut an ongoing old habit. So everyone is, every human being can suffer, and every human being can also be happy, be contented. Pain is for everybody. And people in the world, they hurt all the time each other because of unconsciousness. Unconsciousness, wrong words, wrong actions, unconscious actions. What to do? You cannot control other people's ways of living their life, expressing themselves. But about yourself, you can take the responsibility in your hands, not to repeat again and again the same old habit. And once one makes this clear decision, it works. But one has to make this clear decision. We are here, sitting here, we look very peaceful. But the day-to-day -day life also reaches us. People, people are not always how sweet you are and you are so harmonious. We also live on the day-to-day -day life, dealing with people, going to a supermarket, shopping, talking to family members, and all the things that appear in the duality of life for everyone. But the attitude and the way to relate is different, maybe. But it's possible for everyone. One has to know how to maintain presence with oneself while the world is happening. In that way, if someone hurts you, you may feel the nastiness on the words, the bad intention. But something you maintain loveliness towards yourself. And that love makes you very strong, so you will be able to keep quiet if that is the best action for that moment, or say something if that is the best action for that moment. So one is not just putting the head down, but one is also not fighting one's way to prove anything, neither to anybody else, nor to one's own self. In that way, one can live through life while one stay at home. But the same world is for everyone. And we are all brothers and sisters in the same planet. And as long the body lives, it will experience all these feelings, all this back and forth and ups and downs.
think this is what we call, or some call ego, because then you have these times where it worked, where you were, hmm, everything was and then things go not so good, and as I feel then that something must be wrong with me again, you know, the self hatred comes somehow. Maybe yeah, that, that's right. why the love for oneself. And then some people can say love for oneself, what does it mean? But I'm not here to try to explain exactly to fulfill anybody's expectation. But maybe you can feel in yourself love for oneself, what it would mean. Is to maintain truthfulness with yourself. Even if you feel there is a tendency you want to fight back. There is no problem in it. Still this love for yourself supports you as you are in that exactly moment where you are ready to say something, to react. And this love, this acceptance for yourself, it brings you immediately back to yourself to the moment. And then, because you love yourself, you will open your eyes for that exact moment, what to do. And then you will know if the moment is better to keep quiet or to act. Not to react, but act. Then it comes naturally from the moment. I hold back many acts because of uh, them. Um, yeah. And then it amounts to them. I'm close to them because that's why. I, because when I really explode sometimes, rarely, but when, boom, there's room again. Yeah. And this every day, mm -hmm. is it the right now to say stop? And this is for the keep. Mm -hmm. when, when I'm honest, I feel when I should act and when I can relax and keep it in. So that just shows that when one has a lot of energy, especially this active energy yeah. that tends to react more than just keep quiet, mm. that there is some energy that wants to be expressed. So there is nothing wrong with that. Osho used to say, do some round around the, the block. Just to go for a walk, you know, one, two, three, four rounds, and you come back home, you are already great, you know. Then there is the dynamic. There are different ways. So you don't suppress your feeling, but you are also not simply reacting. Because, as you already said in the beginning, the work, maybe the work, you cannot always react. But one doesn't need also to swallow. So to find a way that is natural, that is in a flow, that still remains the point for everyone. You like to ask something more about the heart? You like to ask something about the heart? About what? About the heart. The heart? Mm. <coughs> um, Well, the last weeks when things happen, I tried this meditation to take all these things from outer world, from connection to the heart, and give love back. Mm -hmm. But finally, I was broken. Yeah. Or whenever the war, the Osama bin Laden, the killings that came him down, the two police fights, and we got there. You know, all these movements outside and personal relationships, and 
things which I felt really bad or ugly or painful, bring it in. And it happened for a short time I succeeded, but <laughs> that was too much. So when you say the mind reinforces, I said, okay, these things come and they are there and they create something, I'm not strong enough to really personal or not personal, give it to the world back. I'm not so strong and just overwhelmed by all these things. So it's better to keep these things out. So yes. now all these troubles with eating, with the bacteria, so the whole day it's um, and I'm in such a profession where things also come in and the doctor come in that and uh, some days it works and some days it just gone and want to go yourself because then people also come and help me I and mean, I have some, sometimes I can give some and sometimes but I have not to give a fear and I cannot be strong because people say here I am, I pay you for your job. I said I have nothing to give but I try to and then I feel so small <laughs> and then the heart is gone. Maybe because I'm not really honest or authentic then, because I think I have to play a, a role and to give something which, and this is it. Sometimes it's a good feeling when you have something which works. <coughs> well, everybody knows, but no, but the hardest pain, that's a lot of pain the last two weeks. First, I was happy with meeting my mother, with saying my mother, I was saying goodbye. And, and, I don't know, I'm not very. So, I don't trust also myself so much because I have so beautiful plans standing up doing meditations and doing the work and then. This comes out sometimes. Sometimes when I don't have the duty to go out, oh, I leave the state. I have got so many things stand there. <laughs> like in childhood, I'm not, no, not different. <laughs> I don't know what to say. A bit. It's important to, to stop doing, trying to do, trying to do something for others and give to yourself space and value to your time. Wherever you are, if you are in your work, if you are at home, if you are with friends, you are always with yourself. So it is very natural that you give yourself a good home for you to be. Because it's from this contented home that you can share with others. Many doctors come to satsang to the retreats, especially in Brazil. The area of medicine, therapy, and lawyers. And I am always very happy, because that is a very important profession. Because it's directly experiencing people's pain, people's confusion, people's problems. It's important to see that it's all part of life, part of this world, that people come, they get sick, they get problems, they get involved, identified with their problems, and then one day they leave. So while this play is happening, the play of ups and downs of duality, 
you don't need to get involved into people's problems. And that is the only way one can help. It's by maintaining a certain space. And maybe for that, one needs to listen a bit more for also very practical things about one's own self. About eating, drinking enough, having a little round around the walking a little bit, eating an apple. It's very simple things, but that is the way you keep, you maintain your day in a harmonious way, according to you, because you need to be behind yourself. And in that way, work or with friends or wherever you are doing becomes a flow because it is your life and you want to be at home, happy, at easy. So one has to make this first effort to <coughs> maintain a respect for oneself at all times. And that is a good reason, it's a very important and reasonable reason. You are with yourself wherever you go. So it's very great to make this yourself a harmonious every moment. And then when you talk about the, the big bacteria and this and that, that are happening in the world, one has also to realize that what one cannot directly change, to worry about also doesn't help more. So to return to a neutral, clear space inside is the only way to maybe a click may come and something gets shown in a clear way do this, do that, 